Hi, this is Eva for Once Upon a Timeline, and today we're going to talk about how they are now saying that Antarctica is a desert archipelago. So let's start with the desert part. Some of you may have heard this one. This one is about a year old or older. So they're saying uh, the Antarctic desert is the largest desert on Earth, measuring 13.8 million square kilometers. Antarctica is the coldest, windiest, and most isolated continent on Earth and is considered a desert because its annual precipitation can be less than 51 millimeters in the interior. Okay, so it's a desert, so what? It's still covered with snow. But it's not still covered with snow so much anymore. All right, I started seeing these images um, maybe about a year ago. Um, this one is the McMurdo Dry Valley, is what I remembered originally. Uh, now it's the McMurdo Dry Valleys. Uh, so there's more and more. This area seems to be really spreading. When I first saw it, it was just a small area of kind of sandy region. Uh, but now um, there's a lot of it. And they have, uh, this is a new one I just saw today, very interesting frost polygons. So this is also in the McMurdo Dry Valleys somewhere. So it's getting more interesting looking. And then today I see that there's another one called the Schermacher Oasis. Now I'm starting to see this word oasis being used for these dry regions. Usually you consider an oasis like a freshwater source in the desert. So I guess it makes a weird kind of sense. Uh, here's what's interesting about the Schermacher is that I'm starting to see images now of greenery in there. Originally it was just so dry that nothing could grow and they said oh it's so dry that no snow could fall but apparently it's not so dry that you can't have a greenery which is a very new development for me. Okay so what even makes up a continent? For me the definition of a continent used to be like this. Continents are understood to be large continuous discrete masses of land ideally it didn't wasn't ideally separated by expanses of water they didn't used to include that but they do now uh, it didn't it wasn't necessary before uh, for me that was just um, Arctica Antarctica North America South America Eurasia Eurasia Africa and Australia those were the continents uh, now Europe and Asia are separate continents even though they're one big landmass, and uh, Arctica is gone. So um, what's weird is several of the seven conventionally recognized continents are not discrete landmasses separated completely by water. Obviously, uh, Europe and Asia are not that. So the whole definition is just all funky now because it makes no sense. Uh, last time I checked into this a few years ago, they were talking about uh, geopolitical divisions. So it was like a combination of geology and politics, but now there's really not a lot of talk about the politics. Uh, instead, what I have been hearing more about has been this concept of um, what the crust under the continent is. So they've been saying, like, for instance, Greenland is not considered a continent because it doesn't have its own separate crust underneath it, and is fact of the same crust, crust underneath it as Canada area. So they're not counting that where they're saying, oh, Australia has its own separate crust. So that's kind of a new um, spin on it that uh, I think uh, the Mandela effect might be using to kind of explain some of this stuff. All right, so we found, um, I don't know if you've heard in the news, but there's been a lot of talk about new continents. Um, one of them, the most recent, is this Greater Audria, which they're saying is a continent that's like got squished under Europe. So they're saying this was the old map in Greater Adria. I kind of got the feeling it was, it's kind of like around Italy now. Um, I don't even know why we're talking about this because, you know, in my old timeline, the crusts were always getting them subsumed under other ones, and uh, you didn't, they didn't ever try to figure out that there was separate continents underneath. I, I think that the idea was used to be that the continents would just get mooshed and gone. They weren't there anymore if they got subsumed under other crusts. But now they're talking about there's a basically a continent under Europe that was the old continent, Adria. And uh, some of you might have heard about that Zealandia that came out, uh, which is supposed to be now a, um, a continental crust type of a situation happening near New Zealand. Uh, and this is the current image of it. I don't remember it being this big or this shape last time I checked. Uh, also, I'm seeing that 
New Zealand it used to be further out in the ocean like three years ago. Now, for me, New Zealand used to be right here, right next to Australia on the uh, east side, but it was smaller and one piece. So um, then it was way out in the ocean. Uh, now it seems to be sliding back towards Australia again, but it's bigger than I remember it. Now sitting here right next to Australia, I can really see how much bigger it is. Um, we, they're, they're close enough now that you can't really blame it on map projections as they always do. Uh, you can really see how much more stuff's up here. Anyway, so there's this, this new idea now that they're trying to say that continents have to do with the crust underneath it. And that's something that we really can't see. Uh, and so if it changed, we would just have no idea. Um, there's no visual evidence of it other than what scientists say. So uh, that kind of opens up the the ability for continents to change uh, and be changed and just say that it is a different, just a different way of uh, describing them. All right, so what is going on with Antarctica? Here is the thing. They're actually saying that Antarctica is an archipelago of, um, of smaller islands and then, then kind of like a mainland mass here. So here's actually one depiction of it. Um, you can see here there's a thing called Princess, Princess Elizabeth Land, and supposedly in current timeline, Australia claims that as its territory, uh, but other countries aren't recognizing it. So that's, I've never heard of that before. Okay, so what's the story here? Without any ice, Antarctica would emerge as a giant peninsula and archipelago of mountainous islands known as Lesser Antarctica and a single large landmass about the size of Australia known as Greater Antarctica. These regions have different geologies. I've, I've seen different words being used for the, um, um, the peninsula area wasn't, is also not always called Lesser Antarctica. There's not a lot of talk about this. Uh, yesterday when I discovered this, I found something on Wiki talking about it. But today, this morning, when I went to look at it again, there is nothing talking about the archipelago of Antarctica. So uh, the wiki has changed from last night to this morning, apparently, uh, removing the archipelago stuff. Now, I, I first saw this um, on Reddit, this archipelago thing, so it, it totally flipped me out. So here's the other thing. Now, we, I've shown you this one, and this is supposed to show the um, archipelago aspects of Antarctica, but... There's no real consensus on exactly how much is underwater. Uh, everybody acts like there is, but each map I look at is different. And then the, supposedly there's a bunch of lakes and rivers up in here. Uh, so some people add that in or, and some don't. And then there's the confusing aspect now that they're saying that um, the glaciers push down the, the land so much that if the glaciers were to leave, it would spring back up. So that further confuses things because they're saying this is the deglaciated image of um, Antarctica, but if the glaciers were removed, then this current storyline is that this land would pop back up and, and still be more kind of like a single continent. So basically they're saying this is a single continent because it's on uh, one continental crust chunk, even though apparently it's really just a bunch of islands and then a smaller uh, mainland. Okay, so let's look at some of the other images of it. Uh, this is the thumbnail one from above, showing more lakes here. So this is looking less like a single continent, even in this area. Uh, you can see the outline, the original, or the, the outline that we're somewhat familiar with for Antarctica. All right, and then uh, one more. Now this one has a bunch of lakes added in. So then there looks like there's even less Antarctica there. Uh, and then just these little chunks of islands way out here. So I think this light area is supposed to be the crust region. Now this kind of whole thing where they would make the ocean different colors according to the crust, that really just showed up for me about three, four years ago. They used to just make the ocean all blue. Uh, so that they kind of it kind of started early getting us used to this concept here of having of looking at the crusts underneath um, and what it was sitting on. Uh, the other thing that was mentioned maybe a few years ago, I think it was Mandela affected who first noticed is that if you look 
if you actually just look at um, world maps, I'll do that real quick here, and look at the images, um, a lot of them kind of don't really show Antarctic anymore. Like this one is a very popular one. Some show it. And how this happens uh, kind of changes. This one doesn't show it. This one's showing corners of it. That's kind of a new thing for me lately is that um, they're just showing it like part of it, just like a little. It used to show more down here like three years ago it would show more. So it, it just seems like um, even the maps that are showing Antarctica, see like this one doesn't have it at all. Even the maps that are showing Antarctica are showing less and less of it. So what Mandela affected was saying is he thought maybe Antarctica was disappearing. So that's why I'm keeping an eye on it. And then when I saw this, I'm like, it's definitely disappearing. It's It's being uh, snuck away right under the ice, basically. Uh, I, I really have to wonder where we're going with this. It's, it's, a, it's over half gone now, according to some of these maps. So very interesting. Um, I don't know what to say. It's just, it's flipping me out. Antarctica is like half gone, according to these maps. So uh, keep a sharp eye on this. It's very strange. Also, I would keep an eye on the definition of continent. Uh, what is a continent? What makes up a continent? and the storylines that they're pushing in the media about continents, uh, because it's definitely changed a lot since my old timelines. Anyways, this is Eva signing off for Once Upon a Timeline.